Wireless USB AV offers a convenient way to watch content from your laptop on your TV or projector. Video content such as YouTube, Hulu, iTunes, and more can be streamed wirelessly to your TV. Display PowerPoint presentations, browse the internet, or perform other office work wirelessly on a large TV monitor or projector. Its ultra speed technology delivers up to 1400 by 1050 resolution and full 720p HD video at a range of up to 30 feet in the same room. The wireless transition cannot pass through walls. Therefore, the AV receiver should be placed within the same room at a distance of up to 30 feet for office use and 20 feet for full screen HD video. There are two options for placing the AV receiver tabletop or wall mounted. To place the receiver on a table, slide the shutter to show the top USB port and insert the USB dongle. Place the receiver on a table next to the TV set or projector. Make sure the line of sight between the transmitter and the receiver remains unobstructed. For wall mount placement, hang the adapter on a wall using the screw holes. To place the adapter behind the TV, make sure the top of the adapter is not obstructed by the TV. Connect the power cable to the base and to a power outlet. Make sure the power cable is not connected to the green audio connector. Connect the HDMI or VGA cable to the base and to the TV set or projector. These cables are not always included. You should now see a message screen on your TV. If you do not see this screen, make sure you are viewing the correct input on your TV, for example, HDMI 1. If you have connected an HDMI cable, the audio will be played on the TV set. If you have connected a VGA cable, you must also connect speakers to the base. To connect speakers, connect the audio connector to the base's green audio connector. Insert the CD into your laptop and follow the on-screen instructions. The following components are installed. A wireless transmission software called Wireless USB Manager and video processing software called DisplayLink. At the end of the installation, a gray icon is added to your system tray. Connect the PC adapter to an available USB port. Make sure the antenna is positioned vertically. If your USB port is vertical, Swivel the dongle to an upright position. The gray icon becomes green. You should now hear a few sounds and the laptop screen may blink a few times. At this point, you should see the laptop screen on the TV. However, you may not see your icons. This is perfectly normal for viewing in extend mode, as explained in the next section. Using wireless USB AV is the same as having multiple monitors connected to your laptop. When connecting multiple monitors to a single laptop, the secondary monitor is configured to mirror the Windows desktop. This mode is called mirror mode. Alternatively, the second monitor can be configured to extend the Windows desktop. This mode is called extend mode. In mirror mode, a screen resolution that is compatible for both monitors is automatically selected. Note that the resolution may not be the optimal resolution for your TV. You can retain the native resolutions for both screens by switching to Extend Mode. To switch to Extend Mode, right-click the Display Link icon on your system tray, select Advanced, and then select Extend Mode. In Extend Mode, you can use each screen independently and decide what to present on your TV by dragging it to the extended side. Your mouse can be moved from the laptop screen to the TV screen by moving it to the right. You can move any window from the laptop side to the TV side. If the window on the laptop side is maximized, click the Restore Down button and then drag the window to the right. You may then click Maximize again. To play video in full screen, drag the video player to the TV side and click the Full Screen button. 
playing full screen video requires optimal performance. To ensure best performance, follow the following tips. For full screen video playing, it's recommended to connect the laptop to a power outlet. If you cannot connect the laptop to a power outlet, make sure your power plan is set to high performance by double clicking the battery icon and then selecting the high performance option. While playing video, close any unnecessary applications. When playing flash-based video such as YouTube on Windows XP or Vista, disable the Enable Hardware Acceleration option. To do so, right-click inside the video screen, select Settings, and then deselect the Enable Hardware Acceleration checkbox. If you're using Windows 7, make sure you select the Aero desktop theme. Minimal laptop requirements for web browsing include at least 1.6 GHz single-core CPU with 1 GB RAM, for 720p, at least 1.8 GHz Core 2 Duo CPU with 1 GB RAM. When playing video on a low-performance laptop using Vista or Windows 7, right-click on the Display Link icon and check Optimize for Video. In addition, make sure your Windows Media Player and codec are fully updated.